Welcome, my name is Billy Holtz, and this is my senior recital. I'm happy to have the ability to share music with you on this platform, though I would have preferred to have an event in person. First, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has befriended, supported, and helped me on my musical journey. During these past months, I've had a lot of time to reflect on how I got to where I am now and where I want to go in the future, and I'm so grateful that I've had such a supportive network of talented, generous, and kind people to guide me on my way. There are a few people who I would like to thank specifically. To my orchestra director since the sixth grade, Maestro Thomas Hartman, thank you for putting a baton in my hand, metaphorically and quite literally, for not teaching me but showing me so much about music, and most of all for being the ideal example of who I strive to be as a musician. To my teacher, Liz O'Hara Starr, thank you for showing me how to think about music, helping me discover my own unique musical voice, and supporting me in all aspects of my musical journey. To my chamber music coaches, the Ninth Street Quartet, Matt Richardson, Jennifer Wade, Liz O'Hara Starr, and Andrew Raymond, thank you for the invaluable conversations and the wisdom and skills I gained on Monday nights, and for deeply and profoundly inspiring me every time I saw you perform. I was reassured that music is, wanted to, is what I want to do every time I saw the four of you play together. To my quartet mates, Max Herman, Melina Nelson, Claire Fulton, Chris Fox, and Chris Tate, thank you for being there on Monday nights to rehearse, play, and learn with me. I've, le I've learned so much from each of you. To Mr. Matt Rinker, thank you for showing me that music can and always should be fun. Seeing the Mandoliers so genuinely enjoy the privilege to play together, put everything in perspective. To Jackson Pope, thank you for helping to inspire me to get serious about practicing and being there uh, with me as we went through the college audition experience together. To Charlie Tucker, thank you for always being there for me musically, personally, and in every other way, from when we looked like this to this, and for leading the way and supporting me with the college application and audition process in the best possible way. And finally, to my loving family, to my aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, brother, and stepsisters. Thank you for your love and support, tuning in to see me play, coming to my performances, and just generally being amazing people. I'm so thankful to be a part of this family. And to my amazingly supportive parents, what can I say? Thank you for pushing me in all the right directions, especially out of my comfort zone. And thank you so much for raising me to be the person I am today being so incredibly supportive of all of my musical endeavors, and most importantly, making me feel loved. What a time to graduate, in the midst of so much unrest, a global pandemic, and a country swept up in protest. This time has forced me to learn about myself, to be a better person and a better citizen. So with all the chaos and turmoil in the world right now, I hope that music provides some solace for you some calm and comfort in the uncertainty. I have three pieces today, and the pro program is in the description below. First is Bach's Cello Suite number no. three in C major, the prelude and berets. I enjoy playing music with and to people more than anything else, but there has been something uniquely comforting about unaccompanied Bach during quarantine. These, suite are, these suites are such an important staple of repertoire, and I'm sure I'll be playing them for the rest of my life. Yo-Yo Ma, I think, said it best when he called this suite a portrait of all of humanity in its joyful complexity. I couldn't agree with him more when he said, I rely on this music for calm, comfort, and hope. May it be the same for you. I hope you enjoy the prelude and berets from Bach's third cello suite in C major.
next piece I discovered during my time at Interlochen last summer, the Bowen Sonata No. 1 in C minor. York Bowen was a multi-talented English musician, and he wrote the sonata for Lionel Turgis, who many call the father of the modern viola, while being a 20-year-old music student at the Royal Academy of Music. Turgis and Bowen premiered the piece together in 1905. This piece to me is the story of an adventure. It often sounds like it could be a film score with Bowen's almost symphonic harmonic writing. I would like to thank Mr. Narciso Solero for his collaboration, and I hope you enjoy the Viola Sonata No. 1 in C minor by York Bowen. Thank you. 
There's a lot of uncertainty in the world right now. Because of the coronavirus, I missed a lot of experiences. Prom, a graduation ceremony, playing my senior solo with an orchestra, and a live senior recital. Taking a step back on the less personal side, there are massive protests every day, a highly contentious presidential race in a country facing a pandemic, experiencing some serious cultural growing pains. I first heard a recording of the View Tom Capri show when I was in the fifth grade, trying to discover as much viola repertoire as I could. This piece, this piece, made me fall in love with the sound of the instrument. Right now, this piece to me is commentary on what is going on in my life and the world, and all the emotions that come with that. I hear disappointment, some glimmers of hope, and towards the end of the piece, cries of protest. But to me, most of all, this piece encapsulates the feelings of uncertainty that are so common today. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for sharing this time with me. I hope you enjoy my last piece, The Capriccio, Opus 55, by Viu Tong. <laughs>